President Putin had no credible opponents, so his fifth term was pretty inevitable. This comes as thousands protested across the country, resulting in dozens of arrests. The 71-year-old has been president since 2000, apart from four years as prime minister because of a two-term limit, which he has since changed the rules to give himself a clean slate so he can run again this year and can run for another six-year term in 2030. During his time in office, he has methodically tightened his power so no real threat to his rule exists, and his most outspoken critics are ultimately either dead, in jail, or in exile. But over the last three days of voting, some Russians have set fire to voting booths and poured dye into ballot boxes while others voted for one of the other candidates. Supporters of the late Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny called for a noon against Putin protest. Carrying on her husband's work, Navalny's widow also lining up with protesting voters outside the Russian embassy in Berlin. Meanwhile, reports say Ukrainians living in regions illegally annexed by Russia were being coerced to vote for Putin, an exercise denounced by Ukraine. For now, Russian citizens now living around the world went to vote. We moved, we immigrated, and even here, far away from Russia, where we feel the consequences of no, us not being heard and this year is so important just to be there for ourselves. This year millions of Russians could vote electronically which should speed up the final tally. For now though many observers expect Putin to toughen his grip and also escalate the war in Ukraine. In London, Stephanie Bennett, Fox News.